Wait, so you're cutting those boards? Yeah. This is where I get messy arms. <laughs> just mixed up some colors. Um, just put it on roughly with the brush here. And I I've got one finished up on the shelf there. That's where I'm going to put them when they're ready. Um, I put a piece of tape down. Just put it on there. That stops it moving. And then I take the bigger brush and I start to go and even it out. Just moving it back and forth, trying to get a nice even layer. and forth with this brush and then I take this is a nice uh, smoother brush a little bit newer so it's got more more spring to it and again back and forth just uh, smoothing it out And even after the, even after doing the sanding and trying to uh, make sure that the board is nice and uh, flat, um, things get past you. And I'm noticing some right now while I'm doing this. The reflections from the window are casting some shadows here. I don't know that you can pick it up on the on the camera, um, but as I do this, I notice there's some little indentations here. Um, you perhaps can't see it, but but I can see it. Um, that doesn't mean that the board is lost because that can be filled with paint. Um, and if those dents are in strategically the right position, then we can get away with it. Um, but it may be that I cut these boards down to make smaller pieces. Um, but that's something that uh, you see along the way and those are important things to take care of. Um, it all adds to the quality of the finished painting uh, to take care of those issues. So we'll see how this dries and, and how it looks and it'll maybe make it into a smaller painting. Uh, we'll replace this with a good piece. <laughs> 